friends welcome and welcome back to the channel i hope you're good i missed you all so much and i've put together some clips from my gallery to form a catch-up like a vlog for you all so it's probably not going to flow as it's not exactly a regular vlog however i hope you enjoy stay tuned <laughs> it is current i didn't wear my watch it's currently i think it's like nine something in the evening saturday evening sorry i'm chewing gum saturday evening we're going to get something mess up my order we're going to pick it up so yeah that's it i've been home all day literally yeah I'm going to get. I'm not you know that, um, <laughs> Hi, YouTube family. Chini, I need to drive. This girl is going to put me inside. Let me, let me hold oh, your map, God. your phone for you. No! I'll direct you now. Is it not the same map? Mama and I visited her sister and we got to eat some rice and ofaku. I hadn't even been here long and I already missed the taste of Nigerian dishes guys. I was pumped. The next day we went to Inala to get some of the cash I had in USD, Euro and Qatari Real changed to Australian dollars. You guys remember when I got some snacks at Doha like at the airport and I was given Qatari Real as change. <laughs> anyway, we went to get that done at Inala suburb, precisely the market. I couldn't get the Qatari real change though, so I took it back with me. <laughs> okay. I put your test signature for two copies. Thank you. Thank you. And later that day we drove to the city where my school is located just to you know have an idea where it was get some things clarified and get acquainted with you know what I ought to essentially So I just figured out I have classes right now and I have to rush to class. I'm going to level 5, the 5th floor, and then I'm just going to sit for my classes. I'm already late, but just about an hour or two. And then I'll be done by 2 p.m. Let's go to class. Yes, yeah, so I had no idea that I had a class on this day, which is actually the first day of school. So school had only resumed on this day and my going to get acquainted with school and all was not got me to understand that I was already registered for a class which was currently at the time holding. So I ran in for the rest of the lecture and afterwards I took you all on a quick tour around my campus. So that is the library or this is the library. <laughs> Then the next one is the student lounge. I sat at the lounge trying to navigate through my student application and so on.
I had my snack and when Meme was done with her agenda, we walked to a restaurant close by and had some Japanese noodles for lunch and enjoyed the view of the city afterwards. You must be made for me, patient is everything. In and out, in and out, in and out, arguing, typhoon. So my school is actually in the heart of Brisbane city and it's just a few blocks away from what you can see in this video so essentially I'm just trying to say this is a part of the heart of the city <laughs> and that is where my school is located. The next day, I got on the bus for the first time to open up a bank account. And then I went shopping after that was done. I need to get something real quick. I can't seem to find it. shopping I got some kebab for lunch just for the sake of it thank you the next day I got on the train on my own headed to the city for a session I had booked at hand which was to enable me to apply for jobs I had already started job hunting so I had to attend that and then catch up with school afterwards I actually had two lectures that same day although the training I was to attend was going to eat into the time for my first lecture anyway using the train was pretty easy does anyone else like using the train rather than the bus I guess I'm here and I'm quite confused because well the map says I'm here I guess the building should be here I have the Rigma Road around this building hi hello <laughs> no, you what? don't know well let me just check this one here this building <laughs> you point, you point. thank you oh ciao I found it difficult locating the building for the training but finally did and was actually on time. I had a lunch break afterwards and walked to my school when the training was done. I guess I spoke in this part of the video so I'll just shut up now <laughs> because that would probably break down what needed to be. <laughs> I forgot my laptop. 
I can't even do anything. I've got my laptop. My phone is nearly dying. I actually need to stop recording for now to save some battery. There's no escape. Hi. Hello. Hello. What class are you here for? Uh, just, well, um, okay. That's it. Okay. That's it. Master's going to be Oh, that means I'm not supposed to be here. I don't know actually, I don't know the class. But this is three of you, though. Yeah, no, so we had a last class here, so I was just hoping this is going to be there. Okay, but do you have the timetable? Yeah, but that was the class specified. Oh, okay. Are you Nigerian? I don't look Nigerian. No. Where do I look? Yeah. I know, everyone's saying the same thing. Uh, serious, are you Nigerian? Yeah. Seriously? What? What? <laughs> So are you up yeah? Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, good. So we're yeah, up. Yeah. Yeah. Later that evening after my lecture, I had Vietnamese, if I'm not mistaken, for dinner. And the next day, Victor came to take me to get some more things done. By things, I mean some basic requirements for living in Australia, like the photo identification card and so on. Hi, my loves. It is 11.22 um, a.m. Friday morning. I have a workshop thing to attend. That's one of the things I miss um, during orientation. You guys know I couldn't make it for orientation, yeah? So I miss the workshop thing. So I'm supposed to attend that compulsory really before I get my student ID card. So I'm going for that. The class, I was scheduled for two, for the one for 2.30. So I'm at the train station now to catch the train to the city. Yeah, that's it. Oh, so this is the train station. Oh, let me show you guys. And I was supposed to go to platform two, which is that one. Oh, I think my camera is not clear. Sorry. So she not, she not fired her camera. I was like, I met Ladi at the airport. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Yeah, like so our, it's broken in our, English. So in our country, we have more languages: Hindi, Malayalam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we also have different languages. We have five different languages. The Nigerian that wants to speak to a fellow Nigerian will probably say something like, "Are they come?" I didn't come. I, I did come. come. I did come. It's I'm coming, but they're putting "day." It's more like. I don't know. I don't have to explain the bro. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's not the like like T H E. It's spelled the other way around. Yeah, 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 yeah that's true. So, that's true. So, but it's just like saying, uh, how how are you? So, and I'm like, how are you? How are you? Doing? How are you? Doing? How are you, doing? How are you doing? So, you, you actually get yeah, to see people have, like, it's like well, me how saying, you, how, are you? How, how are you doing? How, how are you doing? Uh -huh. Or something like, it'll probably ask you how far. <laughs> Your how far, yeah. So, you, if I ask you how far, you might be thinking, how, how far are you going? Like, oh, it's, how not, it's not distance. When you ask you how far, how far it's not distance. Not distance. It's probably, it's just like, how are you? Do you understand? Like, what's up with you? That kind of person. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you not come here to speak English, uh, to learn pigeon. <laughs> 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 you know, you have to start that. <laughs> After the 
orientation we went to get something to eat walking through queen street on this day was quite nice and the band play made it even better <laughs> Saturday morning, 8.55 a.m. I got up about um, 30 minutes ago or maybe 40 minutes ago. So, yeah, I had a very good night rest. Yesterday was stressful, but it turned out fun. At the end, myself and my summer went to Ikena's house to just chill. We went with Victor. I don't even know if you guys know this, but I'm calling it, but we're with friends anyway. And it was just a really cool evening. We just watched Netflix for a bit, but did a lot of chatting and it was cool. My phone was low. I didn't take my camera with me, so I couldn't vlog that. But it was really chill. Well, I think that today I have be really nice if I open up the curtains because of the sunlight. Let me try that and see. <laughs> I know it's going to be nice. I can't see what's going on, but I know that it looks nice. Anyway, so um, I think Mama has a birthday thing today, so we're supposed to go for that today later on. I'm just so excited about it because it's a Nigerian birthday thing, so I'm going to eat. <laughs> I'm going to have like varieties of Nigerian food. I really do miss Nigerian food. Oh. I'm just really excited that I'll get to eat some Nigerian food. I'm happy about that. I'm just here daydreaming about jollof rice. Serious jollof rice. <laughs> I don't even care about the protein. I just want to eat jollof rice. Anyway, guys, I've been experimenting a lot with like food recently. I have had Italian food. I've had Korean food. Guys, I was so excited when I had Korean food because I'm watching, like, I've been watching a lot of korean series and i see, you know how koreans eat they always eat in their series so i was just like, like every time they're eating I'm like i would love to try one of those things they eat like their kimchi and guys korean food is actually quite similar to nigerian food not nigerian i would say Af nigerian food yeah and i loved it i look i really did enjoy it like i'm so picky when it comes to food but I, I was eating I couldn't finish because it was a it was a generous amount but I couldn't finish but I ate it like generously I think that's it for today to be honest I've been doing a lot of you know completion of assessments online to be able to get some jobs here I've done quite a number of things I didn't even tell you guys about I'll probably just be writing them on the screen or something so that I guess I can be reading them because sometimes I don't have the opportunity to talk I just take out my camera vlog a piece of it and <laughs> i just let it go <laughs> you guys really have to bear with me i know that my vlogs are going to be quite scattered and not exactly like edited the way i used to put in so much energy to my editing i don't think i'm going to be doing that anymore because i have school i have youtube i will soon have work um i was trying to tell you guys i'm trying to do some applications online to get a job here because i need a job <laughs> i need a job chair so i'm trying to get jobs i think i should be up and running by next next week i should have a job guys i spent a week here yesterday was my first yesterday made it my first week yeah <laughs> Now only you 
que me lo hace muy nice, 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 nice. Hace me que un maino. Fuera la que pasa, no va a me que un maino. Y dale tu smoke, y yo voy a luz, mala hija. If you're paranoid, then I'm a spinning night. Yeah, I'm taking it out of the beat every day. Dame a dance with you, my money, I'm going to pay. The birthday was a good one and I got to satisfy my Nigerian food cravings. Some days later I had a long but interesting day. I was literally out for breakfast, lunch and dinner the whole day and chow. It was honestly such a good day. I had some hot chocolate fudge cake with a cup of coffee. Then I had some bubble tea from Gong Cha, my favorite boba tea place till date because I've tried so many others. I reckon I didn't capture what I had for lunch but then I got to cook my food at a Korean restaurant guys for dinner. This is a highlight for me. I had always wanted to do this because like I said, I see these in most K-dramas and I find it interesting. I also practiced my driving in Australia in just a day with Ikenna and then <laughs> the story of how I began driving here is an interesting one. Anyway, to summarize, I was tasked with driving on my own in only a few weeks of my being here and ever since that day, I've been doing my thing with driving here and it's been going pretty well to be honest. I'm genuinely so proud of how quick I picked up from driving in Nigeria to the extreme difference of driving here in Australia. Guys, I just got back now and I received my first meal. <laughs> I just had to show you all my first meal. I was pumped and I wonder why now because it's not that serious but oh well. A few days later that week I had a job interview and met someone I knew from my uni which is why I was giggling as we sat for the interview. And then our three days at Gold Coast trip happened. That I uploaded shortly after it happened so if you haven't seen it here's a snippet but you should definitely watch the full video. The link is right above and in the description box or better still just visit my main channel and scroll or binge watch as you wish <laughs> that works too okay that happened and the moment we came back i hopped on the train immediately and went to school right after Hi my loves, good morning. It is 5.29 in the morning. Guys, I got up since, um, I got up by 4 a.m. to prepare so I could catch the bus. I haven't updated you guys. It's my first day at work. I got a job. I'm so excited. I also have school today. I'm wearing this black top, mango, my jeans, and my black flat shoes with the bag. <laughs> So yeah, that's it. I can't believe I'm off this early. So I was going to leave later than I left, but thank God I decided to leave early. So I'm just waiting at the bus stop. The train is just way easier, but there's no train to where I'm going to. So yeah, we're doing the bus, but after today, I would definitely master the route. Hi, my love. So it is day two of work and I am currently waiting at the bus stop for um, the bus. Guys, I remember that this compound has a dog and the gate is open. Aja, let me run now because I can't afford to get bitten by a dog. Anyway, yeah, so I am very close to the bus stop. It's just right here. So yesterday was a very stressful one very stressful but i got off work 
on time to get to school i was actually on school um, at school earlier than expected which is good yeah but overall stressful <laughs> Yesterday I loosened my cornrows, so I was going to do a sewing initially, but then um, I changed my mind because I don't think I'm ready for that either. I want to try and braid my hair myself. My apparently the attachments I have are not going to be enough for what I want to do. So I'm going to just try and do something. I just want to have my hair um, in a protective style for next week. Today's Sunday actually, so for this week. dinner i just got up from a very quick nap so i'm having um, hungry jacks and i've never had hungry jacks before it's the first time and i really don't regret it their burger their fries everything is beautiful and their nuggets has more you know spice than um kfc and um mcdonald's so let me show you guys my tray this is my tray of food so i have this burger i have another extra burger here and then i have some nuggets in here and then my fries in here and then my um coke with ice yeah i had to order food <laughs> So thank you for listening. Thank you for participating. We have something for you. Well, this is just another video um, showing my sewing the night after I was made and I was going out to dinner, which I don't have clips of anymore. I enjoyed it while it lasted. On this day in class, I happened to capture the end of the lecture with the photo of my presentation and that of my group member as um, the one used to close the class and it felt good. I also braided hair a lot before I got too busy to do so anymore. I haven't braided anyone's hair in a while. I mean, I still braid mine a lot, even though sometimes I just want to sit in the salon and let everything get done to my hair. I actually visit the salon once in a while, but most times I get my hair done myself. So yam is on the top of the list when it comes to my favorite food you guys and remember my yam tubers were seized at the airport when I got to Australia? The video is linked in the description box in case you're wondering. Guys I finally found yam but it was sold frozen. I decided to buy it and try and guys after only a few minutes of cooking it this is what it looked like in the pot. I was going to make porridge with it. Ah! I actually completed the food and enjoyed it because I mean come on it's yam but after that i literally closed my eyes whenever i came to being tempted to buy frozen yams let me know if you've had the same experience as well anyway i have come across tubers at most twice in the past months i find asian dishes especially thai and vietnamese quite interesting uh, i tried out snack packs and abused it too <laughs> now i can't anymore so I changed my black winter jacket to this black stylish coat on a random day shopping in between lectures <laughs> out of so many. I went
went for a series of house inspections which honestly was not the easiest part of moving but I finally found the one I liked and was lucky enough to get it so here my bed is being assembled I know people figure the whole assembling thing themselves right but this is just not my forte guys so I mean if I wanted to and had the time I probably would have it might have just taken longer but I just called an assembler to do it for me please so this is when it was all done with my mattress on it yeah, I meant to show you all the full bathroom in this clip I'm wondering why I didn't at this point after a while my room um, began to look like a room <laughs> it's pretty much simple but makes me happy when I'm in it and I just love it at the time I made these videos just for the memories however I am glad you all get to see them too I got invited to a friend's brother's wedding before I moved to Australia, although I wasn't sure I would make it. However, as the time drew near, I slowly appreciated the idea of some time away and decided to book a late flight to Sydney. Glad I did, because now it's past, but it was a great decision at the time. Yep, so I'll just let you guys enjoy the vlog now and just pop in whenever I need to. Oh yeah, my face got really bad after my products got exhausted. I'll date you all subsequently. I've been getting messages requesting an update on the Cosmelon treatment and I will strive to get one out soon, okay? So I was in Sydney for just one night because school was resuming on Monday the next week. This was Saturday night. So I flew into Sydney on Saturday morning, midday actually, attending the wedding and I was back in Brisbane the next day. Essentially, it was a quick trip, but a much needed like much much needed and fulfilling one it's the sunrise and those brown eyes yes. you're the one that i desire when we wait somehow i like this lighting better i'm just going to check what time the reception is for and if i'm going for the reception of the church wedding my uber is actually outside oh my god where did that come from? How beautiful you are You know that I see it I don't know the start Where you go I Yes, I am Okay, which one? Uh, okay, is it one? Yes oh, okay, okay, let's see Are you her brother? Yes, I am Oh my god, you guys look at that Look at you Fine, fine, oh, bugger, then, uh, watch your love for lucky, uh, why not? 
visiting and although it was a short one we had so much fun I enjoyed this VR experience with my classmates on a visit to the wetlands for a group assessment. This 
was the 31st of October when we had some spooky treats given to us during a lecture in class to celebrate Halloween. And then I had such an amazing night on the 7th of November, my birthday. Dinner was lovely with a beautiful view. I also tried oysters for the first time that day and gnocchi and honestly, I love them. Chef's kiss. <laughs> I got to try these full locks and the length was not even helping. It was too long and too full. I literally took it down after two weeks and quite frankly, they should have lasted longer, but I just couldn't. On the bright side, however, I enjoyed some of my claw clips with it. And no, I did not make them myself. I got them done at a salon. Now this one I made myself. They are goddess braids, loved how they turned out and enjoyed it. I got myself another microphone. I wanted to get the Rode mic initially, but later I got the DJ microphone, which is essentially the same as the Rode mic, just slightly, and I mean slightly in a literal sense, more affordable than the Rode mic, and it was one of the best decisions I made. It's what I'm using to record this at the moment, and I'm in love. This is just a random clip of a few Christmas presents I had wrapped for friends. I love gifting guys, it makes me so happy, especially when the gifties are surprised. To be honest, I didn't think any of these clips would make it here, I just recorded for memory's sake. <laughs> And then came Christmas, guys. I worked on Christmas Day, crazy, but it was still a good day. It started and ended pretty good. First, I had work in the morning. At lunchtime, I took a walk in the city to get something to eat. And I came across this cute street performance and recorded it. I'm assuming this is supposed to be the Snowflake Ferry. I'm not sure. Let me know what you think. Then I took some pictures uh, later on that night. I had a good outing, had some cocktail and dinner with another beautiful beautiful view and the gifter got gifted <laughs> what am I saying please don't mind me okay moving on I love the mirrors in my office clearly I finally got the Cosmos and Cream after months of my face getting so bad. Even dream of you, I swear. And then I went skydiving. Have you seen the video? My first flight was a disaster. I hear it's a pretty funny one. You should probably watch it after this. It's time for the flight. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Okay, so I went to school on this day and during break time I got a cup of coffee from the coffee shop next to my school. So essentially one just picks up a cup and marker and writes out what they'd like to have then wait for it to be made for them. And when mine was ready it came back with this pretty skirt written on it by the barista and I thought it was adorable. In case you're wondering it was actually a midi skirt. <laughs> midi skirt. <laughs> Hi guys! So I just decided to make this video because like I'm so excited you guys I just left lectures now I'm at the train station I just got to my train station and something exciting happened in class today you guys so I was told by my lecturer that I was the highest in the class in a closed book economics exam with a total of 91 percent over 100 a class of over okay i don't know how many we are but we're a lot of people <laughs> and i was the highest in the class and i'm just so ecstatic because like oh my god i was so stressed that period wow <laughs> now you know the like icing on the cake because i feel like the main thing isn't the fact that i'm the highest i was the highest in class but for this particular one I was actually asked for a written consent to be able to use my work as an example for future students in the future <laughs> in the long run over the years he said oh my god me <laughs> I mean <laughs> I'm just I'm really can you tell I'm so excited? I'm so excited. But yeah, it's getting too dark, you guys. I'm just so excited. I'm literally ecstatic. I'm so happy. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically the point of this video. Just to tell you guys how excited and happy I am. I'm so tired, as you can see from my eyes. So I'm going to drive back home now and rest. 
this is just a cute koala which I happened to capture myself and like I said this vlog isn't the usual okay so I just quizzed this clip in so y'all could gush and coo like I did because it's cutie and I got the academic excellence award scholarship and no I haven't graduated <laughs> I posted about this when I got it and people thought I had graduated so it's essentially a scholarship awarded to students who have exceptional grades per trimester. <laughs> Another quick one of my healthy fruit bowls and some more studying for my last exam for the trimester. Yeah, that's about all I could find in my gallery so far. Just kidding. <laughs> there are lots more that I seem to have deleted over time and it hurts, honestly. However, I hope you enjoyed this one. Anyway, thank you so much friends for watching and for waiting. I love you all so much and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye, kisses.